Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be updating you on my Erin Condren planner. I have added some events to it and I just wanted to share them with you. I had showed you guys all of September. I haven't started October yet because it's not October. Um, although I have some plans for October. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you some things that I am updating in it. So if you want to know what they are, then so just keep watching. the two things that I want to show you guys are just two little main events. Um, I want to show you because I have a little bit started. Um, one of them is in October, which is ne next month, so you're gonna get like a sneak peek as to what. Sorry, I had a hiccup. As to what it's gonna look like. Um, so yeah, the first day in October that I did, that I jumped ahead to do, because I am going to be purchasing stickers, more stickers, more planning things, um, from Etsy. Um, Etsy has really, really, really good planning stickers. Um, you can even print your own stickers from Etsy, which is really, really nice. I look bald. Did I tell you guys that? Is that I look bald? I should have pulled out some like, you know, little hair so you guys don't think, oh my gosh, she shaved her head. Just so you know. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm not blonde. Okay, so the first day that I did in October is Gonzalo's birthday. Yay! <laughs> His birthday is October 26th. So he loves Halloween. So what I wrote is Pika is what I call him. That is our pet name, Pika. And it, I said it's Pika's 21st birthday. He's going to be 21. It says give him lots of love, give him lots of presents, and give him lots of alcohol because he is 21. And then it says love Pika all day. Then I put in the little day section here, I put a pumpkin, a bat, a cat, and this is a candy corn if you can't see it. Then I put a spider, I put just an orange circle, and then this is a sticker inside a sticker. So the orange circle is here. And then I put a golden heart in it, cause just cause I thought it was cute. This is a little autumn leaf. This here says happy birthday. And this here is a witch hat. And as you can see, I kept the font color in orange, which is what I plan on doing for all of October. I'm going to change just like the shade of orange in the planner. I'm going to go from like a dark orange to a lighter orange to maybe like a neon orange. Um, but I want to stick with that theme. Like in September, September was like my trial month because that's when I got the planner. So now that I'm into the months that have like holidays and things like that, I really want to color coordinate everything in it. Um, so yeah, and the next event that I did, the next and only event that I did, because I am going to be again ordering from Etsy to get all my new stickers that I'm going to show you in a haul. I'm going to do like an Etsy haul, Etsy sticker haul, something like that for planning. Um, but the next one that I did with the stickers that I had is my anniversary with Gonzalo, which just happens to be on Christmas Day. So I have December 25th done in a, my little planner here, which is like a really special event for us. It is our two year anniversary. So that is what I wrote. Um, I took some of the Christmas stickers that I have, and then I took some of the Valentine's Day stickers that I have, and I combined them because it is Christmas Day, which we both celebrate, but then again, it is a day of love because it is the, our anniversary that day. So I combined the two, and as you're going to see, I kept the font um, red and green, which is great because red and green is Christmas, and then red really symbolizes love, which is what I really like. I like the symbolism that is going on in my planner so far. I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah, I'm going to explain my stickers to you. So, what we have here is Noel, 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 and then I have a heart over here, and this is celebrate, does it? 
Yes, yeah, celebrate. Sorry, it's just really hard to read because of the font. And then the other one that you can barely read is up here, and it says so much love. And then up here, I also have the XO, and then I have a heart over here that says forever yours, a Christmas one here, some ornaments down here, another heart, and this one says love you most. A kiss, another heart in green, just to color coordinate it, which I'm really, really liking. Um, a Christmas hat. It's just really, really, really coming together with that aspect of it. So I'm really enjoying the fact that our anniversary is in December, which is like the red and green colors that I'm going to stick with. I'm going to stick with Christmas theme for all of December. So I'm going to be writing in red and green, maybe just like, again, like I said, like a lighter green and then a lighter red and then, you know, maybe neon, neon red, neon green, just to spice it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, my overall experience so far with planning is that it's really, really, really helping me out. Um, planning is like relieving stress for me right now because, you know, everybody in life goes through stress and a lot of people take it out and... 30 million different ways. Some people get angry, some people cry, some people eat, some people, I don't know, do drugs, some people drink alcohol, some people use tobacco products, um, some people sleep, some people can't stop sleeping, some people, you know, they watch too much TV. Who knows? Who knows how you relieve stress? But in a way, everybody relieves stress differently. And for me, my whole life, it's been eating. Stress equals eating for me. I don't express it as anger. I don't express it as being sad. Um, you know I'm stressed out if I'm being clumsy, if I spill something or something like that, or if I am overeating and just constantly eating, which is basically 99% of the day. So, which is pretty bad because technically eating can turn into an addiction. I have to work on that. So <laughs> yeah, that is my planning story. So really the planning is really like stress relieving. You're constantly focusing on something and you're not thinking of things that are going on right now. You're planning for the future. And that is what we all hope for in the future is that things get better and things get better. So if you plan on fixing your life now, your future will be better. And which is why I really love my Erin Condren planner. I really, really, really encourage you to invest in one. I think it is a really good investment. You get to customize it, make the whole thing your own. And I'm just really pleased with this. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the little sneak peek of the two months that I showed you coming up. Um, I haven't done anything for November yet for Thanksgiving or anything like that just because I really want to wait and get my um, stickers and I can't wait to make that video either. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications to be notified for when I post a video. I don't have anything else to say except I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!